placed in the final with a comprehensive display. The judges are from Germany, Bulgaria, Wales, Romania, and from Denmark. Referee of this ball is from Russia, Sergei Lukasov. And now we present the former Rick Corner, representing Colombia, Yuberia Martinez Riva. Well, what a contest we have in store here. Here comes the tournament number three seed, the fifth ranked boxer in the world, the reigning Olympic silver medalist, Ubergen Martinez, 25 years of age, a highly skilled boxer and a man who works at a terrific pace on the back foot, on the front foot, moving sideways, laterally, left and right. He is a real handful. Ranked number two in the world, he's the tournament number two seed, and also happens to be the reigning Olympic champion in the 49 kilogram light flyweight division. Not only is the Olympic champion, he's the Val Barca Trophy winner from Rio 2016, awarded to the most stylish boxer at every Olympiad, and it was this diminutive Uzbek who came away with it, beating this man in the gold medal bout. So we have a rematch of last year's Olympic final from Rio 2016. On this occasion, on that occasion, it was Martinez who came away with the championship silver. He's the first Colombian to win a, a medal here at Anaiba World Championships. This is the 19th edition of the tournament that was inaugurated in Havana 1974. And another piece of history made by Yuberjian Martinez, Hassan Boydos Matov, the reigning Olympic champion, has secured his first senior world championship medal but he is keen to return to another global final against the man he bested in a global gold medal bout in Brazil last summer. Comfortable performance for him at the quarter-final stage, outpointing the man from India. And when dealing with the rematch, Richie, what will be going through the minds of the boxers? So well, they know each other inside out, don't they? And Martinez will, he'll be um, really eager to, to, get the, to get the win over does mat off but there was, it was nothing in that Olympic final run it was very close indeed so this one again I'm expecting to be you know it's going to be nip and tuck either way so we're underway then action from the 49 kilogram light flyweight division and the boxer wearing red it just got through the roundhouse right that's Ubergen Martinez from Colombia 25 years of age and his opponent, out of the southpaw stance, wearing blue, is Uzbekistan's Hassan Boydus Matov. He's just taken a hard right hand to the solar plexus, an uppercut whipped in from Martinez. And Martinez has been in terrific form all season long. I saw him take continental gold in Tegucigalpa, Honduras, where he outpointed his familiar rival, Johannes Aguilagos, as he did during World Series boxing in Season 7 as well for the Colombia Heroicos over the Cuba Domadores. So he has absolutely been on a tear on what has been a hallmark of his work as he takes a good two-shot salvo from Dozmatov. But it's the skill and the precision and the intensity that Dozmatov scored with a southpaw left. But Martinez has been sensational all season long, indeed since Rio 2016. He's very strong, isn't he, on the front foot, Martinez. He sets a terrific pace and, and tempo. What I remember from, from the final in the Olympics was Dusmatov's footwork was excellent he was very fast in and out with the feet and that's what he probably needs here again Martinez keeps coming forward um, but so, so, so the movement is crucial from the man in blue he's got to hit and he's got to move if he holds his feet that allows Martinez just to keep punching so the movement I think is very important for Dusmatov it's a good right hand to the body from Martinez but it was countered by a two shot side upstairs just as it was there right left from Does Matov, who is picking his punches very well indeed. Right hook again from the man in blue wasn't too far away. Does Matov, oh, he takes a right uppercut when the referee was issuing the command to stop from Martinez. Does Matov 
I thought it is explosive best, but he's so experienced now. Look at the way he changes footwork to change the angle and get through with that backhand from the south post there. Yeah, that was a lovely bit of movement there, just off to his right, doesn't the top, so he doesn't go back in straight lines. He keeps moving off to the side, and that's what you've got to do here. But at the same time, you've got to keep the guard nice and high, and you've got to be prepared to punch back against this Martinez, who just, his, his work rate is relentless, very strong indeed. I actually spoke to Galia Mufai, who he beat earlier on in the tournament, and he said he was the strongest boxer he has ever fought, and Galia Mufai has obviously been with some real good opponents. Most oh, certainly. High praise indeed from Galia Mufai, part of the fighting family of Mufai. to win. Nice movement from does Matoff making Martinez miss but his attempted counter fell short as well. Good round of boxing between these two familiar rivals. High skill in everything. Absolutely Ronald and we expected it didn't we? And again it's, it's a mirror reflection of the, the final in Rio. Fast tempo, high work rate from both boxers, not lying at all. Good movement from does Matoff through with a super left hand on that occasion. Martinez just keeps coming forward, doesn't he? Got every shot in the book also. But again, gets clipped with, with another left there. And you see Dusmat off there, just finding from the crouch, he just finishes on the hook. But nothing in that round, Rob. Let's get it right. It's a close round, man. What will the judges prefer? Five of them seated all around the boxing ring here at the Hamburg Sport Hall. Ten point must system in effect. So both boxes sent to opposite neutral corners as excess moisture were just cleaned up. That's a terrific left hand to start the stand stanza from Duzmatov. Martinez aware of that, pecking and poking behind that left jab. Counter right hand again is an effective shot. Martinez landing with a shot around the corner, but the referee instructs him or reminds him that he's got to land correctly with the knuckle part of the glove, not the inside part of the glove, which renders it, renders it a slap. You can see why does Matop is an Olympic champion world. His accuracy generally is very good. What he does, he slips to his right and throws that left hand, so he's taking his own target area away from his opponent and then very accurately then slips through with that left hand that goes through the to the guard of his opponent when he's moving to his right. It's good, clever boxing. Martinez trying to bustle away on the inside. Referee from Russia having a word with Dusmatov about not pulling down the head of Martinez. Martinez with a slight advantage in height. Dusmatov holding his feet before exploding with two hooks. And then there's another lead right hook again from the man in blue. Good luck to the body from Martinez. It's a case of getting your timing right here when your opponent's punching. You can either beat him to the punch, but you, when you're punching, obviously that gives your opportunity, gives your opponent an opportunity to land his shots, and that's what's happening here. If you miss the target, you get caught. These are two quality lads indeed, and they're accurate with their work. Good movement from Does Matoff after he's landing with his single shot, ducking underneath the encounter. counter. That's invariably coming his way. Just beyond the midpoint of the second round. Martinez trying to get in behind that straight left. Bobbing and weaving now. Lands a good straight right. And another one. Does Matoff keen to initiate a clinch as he walks him back towards the ropes? That's another admonishment in the direction of Does Matoff about excessive holding. But then again, hitting and moving, epitomizing the no block. Terrific punch picking from Does Matoff. Yeah, terrific work there from the man in blue. Just going a little bit wide with his stance, but coming back with some lovely left. And there's that movement again. He keeps his head to the right and whips that left hand over. And that's catching Martinez, who's more straightforward and direct with his work. But again, very dangerous. Look at the tempo he's working at again, the man in red. Great Martinez stuff. cranking up the pressure, but he's been met with a skilled, thoughtful opponent. 
in the terms of Guzmantov, who's remaining cool under fire, and despite the heavy artillery he's facing, he's still managing to score with pop shot singles. Martinez looking for volume, and there's a cracking left hand which jolts Guzmantov's head back, and a cutting right hook on the inside. Firefighter to 10 second clap of sound. All action, does Matov with a long overhand right. Terrific conclusion to that second round. Martinez pounding his gloves together. He thinks he's done enough. But what a three minutes of action we just witnessed. Yeah, that was ter terrific stuff, Bosnian skill wise and also tempo. I think um, Martinez, you've got one hold in terms of the volume, but the eye catching work I thought came for the man in blue. The better shots in one, in my opinion, that's going to catch the judges' eyes with those, some of those single shots, those whipping that left hand over the top occasionally. I thought he boxed very well here in Dusmatov. We know what Martinez is all about. His tempo is fantastic, his work rate is excellent. But for me there, the man in blue just came with the better quality shots. Again, it's a very close round. That may just have been the difference. You're supposed to have 60 seconds intermission between rounds, but the Uzbek corner taking 60 seconds and then some, giving Hassan Boyder's mat off every second of possible respite. Because immediately, the man in the red, in red goes in pursuit of those mat off, forcing him to fight his way off the ropes. In the meantime, he's bustling away with a burst of punches to the body. And again, it's a talking to from the Russian referee in the direction of those mat off, instructing him not to pull down on the head of Martinez. And he's been warned a couple of times for the holding, so it'll be interesting to see if, if he, he holds in this round and what the referee will actually do, Ronald. Whether he'll give him a warning or not. But does the top again now? He's just boxing from, from that peekaboo style and just looking just to, to counter attack and just land the odd single shot. But give credit to Martinez, keeps coming forward, sustained pressure. He knows it's close, and so he's gone for volume again. Does Matov making him miss repeatedly? He's getting through with a couple of pot shots. Hard right hand to the solar plexus from Martinez. And another one downstairs. Looking for hooks upstairs. Is Does Matov. Absolutely thrilling stuff here in the third and final round. Good counter right hand on the retreat from Does Matov. Both men looking for arcing shots at mid and short range. Does Matov increases the distance once again. But right on his chest, in his shorts practically, is. Martinez relentlessly punching, looking to pile up the points, but two good hooks from this mat off before he holds on. Terrific stuff from both boxes here, Ronald. Martinez, he's just going for it, isn't he? But you've got to give, also give credit as well to Guzmatop. He's just picking his shots here and there. He's guard slightly better. It's difficult to actually pierce and get through that. Guard of his when you've got those gloves up, but Martinez he won't be denied, he just keeps coming, he keeps switching the attack downstairs, trying to weaken his opponent with the body shots. So, inside the final minute of the third and final round, in what has been a pulsating contest so far, both men feeling the pace. Look how they're breathing through wide open mouths. Terrific work to the body with a double right hand from Martinez. But does Matov bites down on his gun shield and gets his own hooks away upstairs? Terrific stuff in a contest that could well be in the balance. You prefer the volume of Martinez, the accurate punch picking up does Matov. And just like the Olympic final, we are witnessing an absolute thriller here, this time at the semi final final stage of the world championships warrants the final doesn't it really well because this could be costly to the man who wins this and goes through to the final this could cost him that final because they're putting so much into it last 15 seconds close one both men fighting right up until the finish what a right uppercut from martinez does matov looking to land quality of his own his southpaw left wasn't too far away and both men standing on top of the logo at center ring and engaging in a furious exchange right up until the final bell well, the Olympic final last year was absolutely sensational. And here in Hamburg 2017, we have witnessed another superb contest between two top five boxes in the 49 kilogram light flyweight division. Both of them global medalists from the Olympic Games, and their quality was in evidence once more.
tremendous stuff from both boxers. Gave it everything, didn't they? Matt Contest did have, did have, have everything. It had speed, it had power, it had good movement, it had defence. And the relentless pressure from Martinez and then the, the punch picking from Dozmatov. The corners know it's close, we think it's close. It's one of them that could go either way. It's what you prefer, the volume from, from Martinez or the, or the more accurate shots probably from Dozmatov. But there's nothing in it, Ron. It's either way, this one. Well, Martinez still having his gloves removed as Matov is already at centre ring alongside the referee. Both men expended so much energy in pursuit of a place in the final. Let's get the official announcement to find out who will be contesting World Championship goal. with just one point in it an incredibly hard fought nip and tuck affair a repeat of last year's olympic gold medal bout and it's the olympic champion hassan boydas matov from uzbekistan who goes through to contest world championship gold here at the sport haller in hamburg Dubergen martinez the olympic silver medalist has made history here at the world championships by becoming his country's first ever medalist at the Aiba World Champs, he comes away with a championship bronze. And again, he has acquitted himself terrifically and gave a fantastic display of his intensity, his intelligence, and his ring craft. Brilliant bronze medal for him, Dozmatov. That was a moment of confirmation, securing him into the final.